Hey y'all, it's Taryn. It is Sunday, May 31st. Welcome. I hope y'all have had a great couple of weeks. Um, let's see. In the world of Verley, the last couple of weeks, um, Wyatt got his grades for last semester. He made all A's, so that's wonderful. Um, he's on the Dean's List, but not the one his father was on, which says you've got to do better. He's on the good one. Um, what else? Uh, a week ago Friday, Addison had her wisdom teeth removed. Um, and as we suspected, she was hysterical, all stoned on the meds. Um, she was pretty upset with us that we would not let her have a burrito or a quesadilla. Um, but she went back Friday, um, and... They said that she is healing up better than they expected, so that's really wonderful. Um, I guess weekend before last, Dax did something. Well, I'm sorry. He didn't did something. Um, <clears throat> he was pulling, we have these wild grapevines that I would love to pick the grapes from and do something with them. Um, you can't just eat them because the skins are very acidic, but I've read that they make really good jelly and stuff. But they're growing way up in the trees and killing the trees, so he cut those down. I was pulling them out, and one of them broke, and he fell backwards on his back. But because he is who he is, he didn't stop doing stuff. He did this a couple... two weekends ago, maybe? Um maybe three weekends ago, because he kept working out during the week, and by the time we got back home from Addison getting our wisdom teeth out, um, that afternoon he could barely move. I, he spent most of it in laying in the bed with his legs propped up because that was the most comfortable position. But that's all better. The shingles are all gone, so I'm just... I guess we're good with that, right? Um, I did have a question in a video that was actually a couple of weeks, couple of videos ago, I think. It might have been the last one. Don't make me swear to any of it. Asking about the cardboard cutout. <clears throat> Asking who that is. That is my parents. Um, for anyone else who might wonder, uh, couple, two or three years ago, my parents were, said they were going to be at my niece's in Colorado for Christmas. And I know, I'm from Texas, we say Colorado. Um, anyway, they were going to be there, and it would have been the first Christmas that my parents were not around for the kids, and they were pretty upset about it, at the thought of it. So at Thanksgiving, well, before Thanksgiving, the kids had said they wanted a cardboard cut out of them to put at the dining table for Christmas dinner. So at Thanksgiving, my parents brought this with them. Um, it is printed pictures of their faces that, that my dad painted um, the bodies to go with it. My dad is not that buff, and my mom would never dress like that even if she was as curvy as that so anyway my parents are smart Alex it's where I get it from um I think really that was the only real question that I had so I still had a few days of mania left since the last video so I did those I made it all through mania I stitched every day on what I was supposed to stitch on I think it's the first time ever. I am so proud of myself, uh, if I do say so myself. But, so I guess we'll go with that. I did stitch on, from Plum Street Samplers, Brew Ha Ha. It's the one with the little pumpkin guy. And I started this, I didn't open my book. If you hear noise, Dax is cutting the grass in the back because it is the life we live. Um, I started this in 2018. Yeah, right? 
this should be like a, a weekend project. I'm doing it on something that's ridiculously small and I don't think that you can even distinguish really between like his nose and his the rest of his body and all of that. Well, his face, I guess. Um, so, it took me forever because it's so tiny and I was doing it one over one. I don't know why I do that to myself. So I stitched on it out here, I don't know, too long. And then right before I was going to go in, I started over. So, one over two. So we'll see. That hopefully will go more, much better. I almost said more better. Mo better. <clears throat> then, I covered up what I have it written on. Um, so, that was on, oh man, I think I got them out of order. That was on the 18th. Here, what did I stitch on before that? On the 17th, I started this one new, but I've worked on it again since then, so I'll show it to you in a minute. Um, and then I did Brouhaha. The next one was this, it's a free pattern. It's, it, the name of it is just Ukrainian Ornament. Um, I started this one last year. And on this pattern, all of that white is stitched. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. I'm, I can tell you that right now. Um, here's where we are. And that's, this flower and then just this little part right here. When I started this time, I only had these two petals on the flower done. So I feel like I made good progress. I don't know if that's justified feeling or not, but I'm going to go with it. Um, and then this, I did 20. So this one was a new start this year. Obviously, there wasn't. Last year I did 19. Um, and this is from uh, Calico Crossroads Snowcat. It's pretty cute. And this one, look at how much, because it's mostly back stitching. So I feel like it's like halfway done. I am not going to do. I'm not going to do the border around it. I'm just going to do this stuff in the middle. So it probably really is halfway done. But hey, I'll take it. Because as you can see, I have a tendency to start things that don't get very far at all. So if it can be done, I'm all for it. So that was my mania. Like I said, I got it all done. And I'm so proud of that. I'm not usually one to um, stick with the plan. I don't usually stick with the plan, mostly because other people come and interrupt my plan. So, other things I've worked on since then. This from, who is this from? Um, you think I could get prepared. It's called Earth Dancer, I think. Oh, good gravy. Why can I not think of their... Butternut Road. Jeez Louise. Butternut Road. It's Earth Dancer. Sheesh. And I'm doing it on a 28-count uh, even weave in Mushroom, and I only know that because the package is still there. I have not made great progress. I started this. This goes in my pile of oldest whips. It really does. Um, I mean, it's it's on my list of 20 things. My list of eight thing, 18 things for my 20 and 20 because I accidentally finished two of them last year. After I made my list and I did not go and fix it. So there I am. Um, I think I had 10 rows of this 
kind of white color in there. Oh, hold on, I'm getting a other message from my phone. Um, so, I mean, I, I, like I said, I only had about this much. So I did make some progress. This is, good board. What I do with the picture? I'm working um, right in here. That's where it is. And like, if you can see the blank spots, those will be beads. So, and I'm doing this two over two, which is very slow for me because I don't generally, I usually do stuff on Ada because it's easier. So, anyway, then I worked on America the Beautiful by Sue Hillis. Um, and I am not putting in the, I'm going to put in the states, but not the capitals. And I think that's about it. He must be right here. I can hear stuff, so I guess he's weed eating. Um, I was like, what is that noise? Anyway, but I'm only going to fill in the things in the states, in the state names, um, as we visit them. So, this one is a long-term project. Thank God, because I'm not making great progress. But we do have a goal to visit all 50 states. And just driving through them does not count. We have to actually go and stay and do something. So, here we are. On this time, I only got some more of the water done. Um, I think I got a late start that day because I accidentally turned off my alarm. So, there is I'm going to move these because they're going to fall. They kind of look like they're going to fall anyway. And then it came back around to working on this one by Bent Creek. And this was maybe less than a day. I don't know. I don't remember, but I finished it. Yay! So that gave me three finishes in May, I think, two or three. I don't know. I'm just thrilled that I finished it. It needs, uh, it comes with the snaps to, <laughs> mm. no, don't lay on this. Oostie's out here with me. Um, I'm sorry. Pardon our interruption. It comes with the snaps to put on there, but I have some little tiny black buttons that I'm going to use. But um, the cat laid on this. You can see that. See the dirty spot? That's from cats and thread. And I was sitting outside while I was stitching it, so the white's really bright outside. You can tell. So it needs a bath before I sew the buttons on. I have an idea for finishing, but as with everything with me. We'll see if I can find this stuff. Thanks. We both know that is my downfall. <laughs> one of them. Um, then I pulled out this one. I think it's called On the Range. Did not get a ton of work done on it. Mostly some of this right here. Part of the problem on that day was the cat. Um, she has this new thing she does where she wants on the desk, she wants on my lap, she wants on the desk, she knocks things off, she wants back in my lap, and it's very irritating. And it really, really messes up my progress. I worked on the kids' 2019 ornaments. Y'all, I bet I get them done before they're 30. Okay, are y'all sitting down? I mean, seriously, are you sitting down? I finished the back stitching on this one, so I have two of them done. And then look how much I got done on this third one. Can you even believe it? And this one has even less stitching. I might actually finish those in this century. 
That's all I'm saying. That is all I'm saying. I worked for a hot little minute on this one. It's by Jeremiah Junction. It's out of a cross stitching, cross country stitching is what it's out of. I'm only doing like this right down in here. I'm not doing the whole thing. But my needle minder stuck to everything. And I'm on the sewing machine. There's a little bobbin of thread right here in the sewing machine. This time, I think I had this coming up before. So this time I did this. And this is all filled in right here. Next time I pick it up, I'll do the back stitching. That will say Singer in that little... Uh, it's like a little sign hanging down. So. I really like working on this. I like little motifs because they look like something so much more quickly. And then the last thing I worked on was a new start because after Mania, who didn't need more new starts every week? I haven't given up on that. And... As a matter of fact, I went and bought some thread to floss to get um, finish up this start and make sure that I've got everything for the next one. Maybe the next one or two. I don't know. But I did go buy a bunch of floss. Um, this one, it's a Janlin. And this is like Kirsten is a little girl. Her hair and ponytails. The little pigtails like that. Although, I have to be honest and say, it would have been quick to get her picture like that because if I put them in the car, I could spend 45 minutes getting all three of the girls' hair done and Wyatt's too, but making their hair all cute. By the time, if, if I put her in a car seat, by the time I got the next child in, strapped in, she would have pulled out her hair. All of the whatever I did to her hair. So to get a picture of her like this would have been a quick, quick thing to do. But she was the shades of blonde like that and all of that stuff. She and Wyatt were blonde. Addison and Abigail both brunette. So anyway, I got way far. I started in the middle and this is a piece of some kind of linen. Um, I believe it's a piece that I won from Stacy at Atlantica Dreams did a giveaway, a drawing, but it's probably hard to tell. It's kind of modeled with this, um, it's almost a mint green, but it's got a little bit more blue and it's got some browns and I just thought it would be good. This is just on the bottom. I started in the middle and this is only on the bottom half of the fabric. But there was a little bit more modeling down here, and I liked that for this project. So, I got that one started. Um, oh, I did also work a little bit on my linen and threads. Uh, their mystery sampler this year. I'm sorry, it was all still in its hoops and everything. Um, but it's not going to be this big, but I didn't want to cut my fabric until I knew where to cut it because I don't trust myself to measure. So I think it's only going to be this long. I think this is the bottom of it here. Um, yes, yes, yes. Oh, this long. No, that's where I'm working on it. Uh, move that out of the way a little bit. It's going to be longer than this because I'm just starting that part. <laughs> ah. um, this is March's piece. It's probably going to come down to about here. That's my guess. Yes, March. March's piece. So I keep seeing all the people in the group posting on Facebook. I can't wait for June's to come out. You know, I've been waiting. I'm dying to get that one done. And I'm like, yeah, I just started March. Hooray. But, for all being honest here, 
we know that's how I roll. So anyway, that was my stitching. Um, but I did get square number three done in the um, silver lining sew along where we're doing the quilt squares. This is my number three. Let's put something behind it so it doesn't, uh, I know, right? What do I put behind it? Um, so that's my square number three. I am doing this strictly from scrap. I am, I don't have anything, I didn't go pull colors to get the whole thing done and everything coordinated or whatever. I'm just grabbing stuff each week and making a square. This is my first one. Um, these are all from One Charm Pack. <clears throat> this was square number two. These are from, um, I bought a Ziploc bag full of fabric scraps and about half of it had been cut into like jelly roll strips and that's where these came from. And then this is this week's square. Um, part of it is the same charm pack from the first one and then I think this might be from some of the strips that I had that were cut. So. I'm proud of myself for keeping up with that because, as we just talked about with the uh, linen and thread stitch along, I'm not very good at that. And what else? I did count my whips um, this week. I have 97 of them. And I have every intention of continuing to start a new project every week for the rest of this year. And quite frankly, as long as I um, stay ahead of, on kidding things up, I have enough stuff to do the same thing next year. It's ridiculous, y'all. But I'm going to do it. I had some stitchy kindness this week. Um, it makes me laugh because, uh, Dawn at Frosty X Stitch, it is driving her crazy, um, my solitude piece because the colors are all, and if you're not familiar, it's this one because the colors are all dark and they're bland colors, browns and blacks and stuff like that. It is making her nuts. So Dawn went to Tilton Crafts um, and bought this and sent it to me so that I could have something with pretty colors. And because Dawn knows me well, it even says welcome. How perfect is that, right? It is beautiful. Um, most of this stuff for my new starts and things like that, I put them in order when I purchase them and I just pull out what's next when I kit it up and it goes to the back of the box of kits, kitted projects, and I just go in that order. I keep all my whips in order by when they were started. So at the front of my stuff is my oldest patterns, which are kids stockings, but um, anyway, I keep things, I guess, chronologically in order, but <clears throat> I'll cheat on this one and, uh, get it kitted up and get it started in here pretty soon because I don't want Dawn to be frustrated, but I'm still going to work on the other one too, Dawn, but that made me laugh and I think it's incredibly sweet and Thank you again, Dawn. I really do appreciate it. And I can't wait to make it and have it displayed in my home. I could make a whole wall of welcome stuff. You'd think I'd invite people over, but I don't. Um, anything else? Have I done anything else? 
I don't think so. Did have a really strange thing happen. I don't know if it was this past week or the week before. I don't know. This lady came into the office and she's like, I have a really inappropriate question, but I need your help. And I'm like, okay. And basically what it was was she wanted me to look up cell phones from T-Mobile for her. So I did that. I found her what she was looking for and I printed out the information and gave it to her. Um, that's just weird though because there's a T-Mobile store a block from our office and we're not we're in a group of professional offices. It's not like people just randomly are there coming and going. Uh, it's, it's weird. But anyway, she was happy. Kirsten was working that day because she works with us. And she's like, what was that about? And I said, you know what? They always say, yeah, if, if God showed up as one of us, how would you treat them? So how would you treat him? So Maybe that's what it was. Maybe it was a test to see if I would be nice. I hope I passed because I I helped her find the information she was looking for. So if it was a test, I hope I passed. Um, I really think that's all. Um, I think that Dax, as soon as he is done, is going to get showered I hope it's probably 95 degrees out there um, and then we're gonna go do something there's I'm thinking maybe uh, there's a little cafe I don't even know if you could call it a cafe it's a uh, there's a shack out in the middle of nowhere that has some really good food um, and I'd rather be out in the middle of nowhere than to go around anywhere where there are gatherings of people. Um, so I think maybe we might go there and they make a fantastic Reuben sandwich. I guess maybe they could call it a Texas Reuben. I don't know, but it's made with brisket and um, it's got green onions. I mean, it's got onions and jalapenos and cheese and uh, it's really good. So I'm thinking I want to go get one of those. <laughs> but I don't know. We'll see. I'm not sure if they're really open. We went last weekend to go eat. Um, maybe it was on Monday because we actually took Monday off. Two days in a row we were off. Um, we went to eat barbecue because the place said we're open and they weren't really open because technically everything you bought was to go and but because they have outside seating you could go sit outside um, which we did and that was fine until it started raining so then we ran to the car and ate the rest of our lunch in our car sitting in the parking lot so that was a lot of fun I don't want to do that again. I, maybe I'm not over the excitement from last week. But anyway, hopefully we'll go find something that is just enjoyable and relaxing and not cooped up inside someplace. I hope y'all have a wonderful week. I hope you're getting lots of stitching done. And thank you everyone again for the comments and your likes. Um, Wendy, I'm sorry, I keep forgetting to get you the information on the Snoopy bookmark, but eventually it will happen. Just be patient with me. All right, everyone. Thank y'all so much, and we will see you here next time. Bye.